Hi Leo, welcome to your May 2023 Life Sector Tarot reading. Remember these are purely tarot, there's no astrology, so make sure you watch for your sun, your moon or your rising, whichever one you feel uh, resonates a little bit more with you. Now, that being said, uh, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. Because as many of you know, I am a Leo Ascendant, so let's have a look see. And what's going on for us over the course of May? Um, now, if you're ever dismayed by my shuffling, I always shuffle my cards before I get on camera, but I like to do it um, on camera so that people know what you get is what you get, right? It's luck of the draw, as they say. So for our actions and our plans, we have the nine of wands, okay. So some kind of remedial action here, um, especially when it comes to our maybe a long, a long held dream or plan of some kind. And then the seven of pentacles. So basically May is going to be a month where you start to see shoots or sprouts of the work that you've been doing. You're not getting it all right now. Remember, you know, Jupiter is coming into the sign of Taurus, which is going to be great for all Leos, Sun, Moon or Ascendant. But this in particular, um, I actually really like. And the reason I say this is the Seven of Pentacles, it basically says you're not there yet. All right. So this and this is in terms of a long held dream or something that you've been holding on to. So some kind of plan, goal, wish, hope, dream that has been derailed. That's the Nine of Wands, right? Um, is now back on the cards. It's now back on the table. And while it's, you know, you're looking at it and you're thinking, okay, this is probably going to take me longer than I um, longer than I originally envisioned, but that's okay. I'm willing to put the work in. I know where I'm going. I've got my direction and I'm just going to keep plodding towards that. So I actually really like this. A lot of your actions this month, um, you're playing the long game, Leo. Right, you're really looking at, okay, how do I do this over time so that I can reap those rewards eventually? It's almost like you've taken the immediate stress off of yourself, so it has to be like, so aggressive, so you do it right now. And it's like, okay, you know what? Let me just take my time with this and give myself more time, more grace. Uh, and you know, that way it's like you're seeing an old dream, hope, wish, there's a memory of something that is now starting to sparkle once more because it's no longer like, this has to be done right this second. You know, it's it's easier than that. For your career and your communications, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, so you're taking your time with it, right? Um, nothing comes overnight with the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Then you've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so not the easiest of cards. And then you've got the High Priestess. So um, for, for work in general and over time, this does suggest that there is potentially a moment here where you're having to rethink where you are putting your, um, you know, like something when, you know, the same when they say like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This actually, I think is about a person, right? So it's almost like you're looking at things and saying, okay, I'm not gonna put all of my eggs in one person's basket. I'm not gonna rely too much on any one thing, place, person, job, revenue stream, etc., whatever it might be. This is you being really clear that you need to diversify in some way, shape or form when it comes to your professional life and world. And that over time, you are likely to start realizing that you can find sanctuary and support uh, from places and spaces that maybe you haven't considered in a while, if ever. Now, uh, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, if you've had problems or issues accessing funding or anything like that, don't worry too much about it. For those of you that are hoping to... Um, uh, oh, come on, brain. For, yeah, for those of you that are hoping to... Um, Oh my gosh, my brain's gone completely blank. For those of, yeah, for those of you that are hoping, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this does suggest that you are maybe looking at your job and asking yourself if this is actually the space for you. Um, this thing as well, you may, because it's the five of pentacles with the high priestess, you might start to hear whispers of, uh, you know, layoffs and all of that kind of stuff. And every company's doing it at the moment because of the, the way that things are. 
However, this presents a very unique opportunity for you. If you can think about this from a longer term perspective, there may be some kind of conversation or even potentially a deal that you could strike up with somebody to kind of say, okay, you know, look, what is what what is possible or available in other spaces? If you are a business owner, an entrepreneur, a lo- um, business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, person that works for themselves, this relinquishing of a goal or a dream, it's only short term, right? It's its basically just saying, okay, in the immediate, I'm probably not gonna make money from this project or this idea or this service in the, you know, in the right here and now, okay, this is probably not going ahead. However, now that I've given myself time, space, and, you know, energy to kind of step back from it and say, okay, what is possible here? it now suddenly takes on a a much different energy, all right? So it's like by giving yourself time, you've actually given yourself grace and it's like you're better able to navigate some of the changes that are coming up. And then finally, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, um, this could be a really powerful, very profound and a very in-depth conversation with a, a, a woman, an important woman in your life. This could be a wife, it could be uh, a mother, it could be an aunt, it could be a sister, it could just be a really prominent woman in your life, somebody whose opinions you value and trust. You could have a really powerful and a very um, illuminating conversation that really helps you get something very clear in your mind in order to make life better moving forward. For your love and relations, you've got the Queen of Wands. So definitely a lot more intimacy, a lot more connection this month. That could be really nice. Potentially, you know, having to kind of lay down the law a little bit. You've got this with the Hermit card. So lots of considerations about time spent here. Um, And then you've got the Six of Swords, right? So when it comes to, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, there's a potential that this month you and your partner are spending time apart. Not because you're having, you know, it doesn't mean that your relationship's coming to an end. This could literally be that one of you's traveling to go and see family. That's very possible, especially if somebody that lives overseas. Um, This could be uh, maybe you're going to, you know, maybe one of you has got like a, a work trip coming up. For a few of you, the reason that you're spending time alone could very well be some kind of spiritual retreat, um, some kind of um, time away where you are doing some very deep reflection, but also some very powerful spiritual growth, uh, and, you know, especially with what came up earlier. So for those of you that are retired and no longer working, I feel well, like it will be mostly you guys, but definitely open to all of you in some regard. Uh, now, for those of you that are single and ready to get out there, um, I got to be honest with you, it just looks like a month of fun frivolities maybe you're taking a trip to go and visit someone who you know lives in a rural area that's all very possible as well it could also be that you are maybe taking time out to maybe you've been talking to someone it's like okay we're finally going to meet we're going to go you know and do this you know we're going to see what we're like in person if we actually click So that could be really nice. And then for your money and materials, you've got the chariot card. You better bring this money, honey. Then you've got the queen of pentacles. Love that. So that queen of pentacles, very likely to be a Virgo because she falls on top of the hermit. Uh, And then we've got the three of cups. So just giving yourself that time to say, okay, this is going to happen. Maybe not in the time frame that I had hoped, but it is going ahead. That's giving you enough grace to really get after something. It looks like a lot of you are ramping up production. It looks like a lot of you are getting really busy over the month of May, uh, busy having fun, potentially acquiring more uh, equipment for the work that you know, for the job that you do. Um, For a lot of you, this could even be that you are reuniting with an earth sign person that really helps you um, enhance or grow your resources in some manner. Either which way, whatever you're building here, you are building for the long term, but it has a really strong start. So I'm totally here for that. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, for a lot of you, this is getting back to self-care within the extreme, which I absolutely love. It's likely as well that a lot of you are either returning to an old practice, something that you used to do that you really enjoyed, um, that is just very active and really gets you fired up. 
for a select few of you as well, there's a lot more mobility here. So I don't know if that's something that you're working on, but your mobility seems to really be improving. Uh, and you know, it's like you're getting back to a version of health for yourself that actually feels very, very good. Um, and then when it comes to your home and your environment, it looks like home and travel are gonna be very busy this month, right? There's gonna be you coming and going, there's gonna be people coming and going to your home. It looks like you've got invites going on, you know, garden days, barbecues, all of that kind of stuff. So this could be a great month for a lot of you actually. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.